Okay, today we're doing a little video on what to look for when buying a second-hand fiberglass boat. When you arrive at the owner of the boat's house, and you come out and have a look at the boat, make sure it's what you what you envisage in, envisage in what you want to use on the water and how your family are going to fit into it or whether it's just your mates. In a fiberglass boat of this age, it's very important to check for dry rot. Dry rot. Uh, the first thing you need to do is trim the motor up. Right. We're trimming the motor up. First thing you're looking, does the motor trim? So the trim works. A very easy one is just to bounce on the leg like this. Bounce, the boat's moving up and down, but what you're looking for is the transom movement. So if it's moving half an inch or an inch in the back of the boat, you know you've got some degree of um, dry rot in there. Another telltale sign is in the bung holes down the bottom you see a brown stain running out along the back of the boat that's a dead giveaway for dry rot okay this boat hasn't got it because he's bought the boat and understands he's got to put a new transom in which cost about four thousand dollars that's why it looks like it's brand new okay so he's looked at the boat it's what he wants he's put a new engine on it done the transom put all the accessories in the boat he wants the man's happy and he's, it's his first boat and he's done a reasonable job of picking what he wants. 